One of my brother, when he was schooling in Makere here, he went home. They took the when he went, those of corn first. They take the child, the brother, and go and kill him. They cook the boy and they hate the boy. That's why we ran and we came this way. When we we reach here, we start crushing stone. I was having a husband with the six children and uh, secondly the stone no uh, the soil come from up no beat the husband and kill the husband the man died inside man that died. that hole that where they get the stone where we, we dug the stone they buried him the sand the soil buried the man inside there and then those children there is a small organization, in fact it is a, an organization which is helping some of us bitly. They are paying about three children and the rest of the children have uh, children also, the one of my brother whom I am also struggling to take care of them. The three children were paid with the, an organization. The rest of the children I'm the one to struggle. And that's why you see this house I'm left in. I have no any help whereby I could huh, uh, get any strength of uh, building my house and uh, uh, making a better life with me and my children. And the, the two children of the brother, they are, I have sent them in the village because of the situation this time. So I'm called Nyeku Mel. I'm married. I have a husband, but I still don't have the kids, but I have my brothers and sisters, which my parents have been killed by this uh, coin. So I'm the one who is taking care of them. I make these beads and I sell it, but there is no market, no good market. So I'm praying God if you can get for us market there in US so that we can make these beads and sell it and I use it for assisting those children, brothers and sisters of mine, they'll be okay. So I really thank God for bringing you from there up to here so that you can see the problem we are facing and you, if you can also help us so that we also be like other people around. Yes, because this is the beads we are making and I'm also making and we are selling them. Some we use buying food, clothes and then even paying school fees sometimes. This is the thing we are making so I really thank God for bringing you if you can assist us that will be supporting us, that will be okay. That's all my problem. Amanyage Achiro Elder. Her names are Achiro Elder. <laughs> and she's born again. And she's born again. And even how she ran because of the battle which is in northern Uganda. Yeah, even how she was crushed, when she came she started crushing the stones down there, so when they crossed that thing, she started making the beads. <laughs> 
Uh, she has a husband, but the man also is HIV. And so, because the man is sick, she's the one who is renting where they are sleeping, and she has two children, and she's the one taking care of these two children. And she's praying that God may open up the market and so that they can get good money to take care of these little children, to pay the house rent, buying the medicine, and even uh, paying the rent. If God open up the market, they will be very, very happy. I'm going to go Susan. I have two children. And I'm the mother and the father. They want to pay their school fees. And they want to pay for them. And I want to thank Agnes. Since Agnes came last year, at least she has been encouraging us to make this beat. So I thank you people for coming. I know God will open the way and we shall manage, like me I will manage to help my children. And I have a daughter of my sister, she is dead. The kid, she has no father, she has no mother. I'm the one Catherine for her. So I have three children. And I'm just praying to God to open for us the way. And I thank you people for coming. I pray that God may bless you. Yeah, I think